Welcome to JVR Industries. Today we're going to go over how to set up your Retour bar assembly on your JVR VAC 110 chamber vacuum sealer. We're going to cover basic setup, number one. Number two, we're going to cover how to identify that Retour bar assembly. And number three, we're going to cover the recommended cycle times per bag type. So we have the Retour pouch here and the 7 mil Mylar bag here as well. You can find these products not on JVR Industries, but at topmylar.com. We do not sell these bag types, but Pleasant Grove Farm does at topmylar.com. You can find the link in the description below. We highly recommend their products. We test all of our retort bar assemblies in-house using their bags and pouches, and they are grade A quality, so definitely check them out. Now, if you plan on getting into retort canning yourself, JVR Industries does not specialize in retort canning processing at all. We strictly stick to the vacuum packaging side of things. So if you're looking for some expertise or some knowledge, we strongly suggest checking out the Facebook group in the description below that's dedicated to retort canning. They can answer a lot of your questions, uh, help you get started in the basics and stuff like that. Now, if you're unable to get your questions answered on that platform, then we suggest going to topmylar.com, reaching out to Pleasant Grove Farm by way of email or phone call. But just note that they're very difficult to get a hold of at this time of making this video. So keep that in mind as you're getting into these processes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into how to set up your retort bar assembly. Okay, so now we're going to go over basic setup of your retort bar assembly. So first you're going to just slide your hand underneath the center of the seal bar assembly and just lift up. And it should just pop right out. It's a toolless removal on the seal bar assembly and the retort bar assembly. So let's go ahead and grab that retort bar assembly. Make sure that these bag clips are on the outside and go ahead and just line these set screws on the base with the seal bar lift piston rods and drop it in. And now you know how to fully install your retort bar assembly on your JVR VAC 110. Okay, so let's go into subject number two, which is covering how to identify your retort bar assembly because they look pretty similar. So the first thing you're gonna wanna check is one heat strip, which is the metal strip that runs through the heart of the bar assembly is flat. So if you run your thumb or finger over the top, you'll feel that it's completely flat. Whereas the retort bar assembly, when you run your finger or thumb over it, you'll feel a little dimple or like a nipple, like a little hill to it. So then you know that you have the retort heat strip that you're running your thumb or finger over. The second way to identify whether or not this is a retort bar assembly or not is looking down the ends of the bars. So if you look right down at the ends, you're gonna see one is wide and one is narrow. The one that is wide, which is an eight millimeter heat strip, is the standard seal bar assembly. The one that is narrow, and you can barely see that little dimple in it, is the retort bar assembly. The third and last way to identify your retort bar assembly would be looking at the base of the bar. So every retort bar assembly that we sell has a label at the base of the bar, whereas the standard seal bar assembly has no label at all. And underneath that retort bar assembly, it'll just read retort. Okay, so now we're gonna cover recommended cycle times on your retort bar assembly for your VAC 110. So for retort canning pouches, these gold pouches, you are gonna run a 2.2 second seal time and a five second cool time. And when you get into the seven mil Mylar bags, you're gonna run a 2.0 second seal time and a five second cool time. Now, if you need additional help with recommended cycle times, I'll put the PDF below that you can access, download and print from your computer so that you have all these suggested recommended cycle times for your VAC 110. And lastly, if you don't know how to set up cycle times on your unit, 
Check out the video above, basic setup of your VAC 110. It will run you through how to set up those times very quickly and very easily. Thanks again for watching JBR Industries on YouTube. Feel free to leave your questions and comments in the section below. And if you have any feedback for upcoming customers, uh, you know, some hurdles that you've run into with these units, feel free to leave those in the comments below to help people out. Also, do not forget to hit subscribe below. And lastly, hit that thumbs up button. Just let us know that we're making good content that's helping you out with ownership of your unit, as well as get updates on, you know, what new content we're releasing. And then lastly, make sure you check out the brand new seal bar tape we've got listed on our website. It's USA made, it's much more durable and long lasting. Uh, I'll put that in the link in the description below as well. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned.